In this example, we're asked to determine whether this given vector here is an eigenvector of the matrix A. So first we'd have to remember the, the definition of an eigenvector. And, and that's a vector X such that when we multiply uh, the matrix A times the vector X, we get just a scalar multiple of X. So some scalar, we call it lambda, um, times the vector X. Uh, so we should see if that's the case with this particular matrix and this particular vector. So we should go ahead and multiply the matrix A times the vector that we were given, so 1, negative 2, 1. So performing that matrix multiplication, uh, since this is a 3 by 3 matrix and we're multiplying it by a 3 by 1 vector here, our result, so first these inner uh, dimensions match, so we know that the multiplication will work, and uh, the product will be a 3 by 1 vector. Just reviewing um, those concepts in matrix multiplication. All right, so the first entry, uh, I'm going to work my way across uh, the first row, or the row of the first matrix, and then down this column. So 3 times 1, so 3 minus 12 uh, plus 7, and I can write that out. So 3 times 1 plus 6 times negative 2, plus 7 times 1. And then we have 3 times 1, plus 3 times negative 2, plus 7 times 1. And then 5 times 1, plus 6 times negative 2, plus 5 times 1. So the result here is the vector, let's see, negative 12, uh, plus 7, so negative, sorry, negative 9 plus 7, negative 2. Uh, negative 3 plus 7, so that's positive 4. And then negative 7 plus 5, so negative 2. So our result is the vector uh, negative 4, negative 2, 4, negative 2. Sorry about that. Um, now, we, if we're comparing it with the vector x here, so we want to verify whether this thing is an eigenvector. We want to see if this product is some uh, multiple, scalar multiple of uh, that, of this original vector. So if I wanted this first entry to be a 1, then the scalar that I would pull out of this thing would be negative 2. Um, so that would be negative 2 times 1. Let's see, so if I pull out a negative 2 from the... Uh, positive 4 there, then I'm left with a negative 2. And then the bottom entry is negative 2, so when if, I, if I pulled out a negative 2, then this vector 1, negative 2, 1 is what I have left. And so yes, we see that uh, that product is indeed some scalar multiple, the lambda in this case, so the eigenvalue is negative 2, that goes with what is indeed an eigenvector uh, 1, negative 2, 1. So we've also determined, um, by multiplying this out, uh, that the corresponding eigenvalue, sorry about, there goes my phone, uh, corresponding eigenvalue is negative 2.